second chances, and uh, that's what we're all about. As a way to offer second chances to those formerly incarcerated, state and county leaders along with over 200 employers met in Sacramento to discuss how they could work together and use trained former prisoners to meet local workforce needs. These men and women have made mistakes, and uh, but they're coming out, they have the job skills, and uh, you know, we, we want them to be employed. Hosted by the California Prison Industry Authority, organizations like the Department of Corrections and the California Workforce Development talked with employers about programs and trainings being offered to make prisoners work ready by the time their incarceration is up. What happens in prison or jail and what happens afterwards? Uh, this is a, a whole continuum. Governor Jerry Brown, a longtime proponent of criminal justice and prison reform, spoke at the forum, showing support for employers willing to look at former prisoners for open jobs. You're involved in a very contentious business. You're trying to treat people like human beings that other human beings want to treat as animals and objects. While I was inside, I think my biggest fear was, OK, after serving all this time and having a felony on my record, who is going to be willing to give me a second chance? Chris Schumacher was formerly incarcerated at San Quentin for 17 years. Doing time for a drug-related murder, he used his time behind bars to learn coding and software. Since being released last year, he's been working as a software engineer for the website Fandom in San Francisco. And I just found that by participating in these types of programs and getting out, uh, not only was I able to reconnect with my family, who I feel like they served 17 years right alongside of me. So when I got released, they got released. Uh, but it also allowed me to go to work. Over 7,000 prisoners find work through the California Prisoner Industry Authority each year, with over 90% of those staying active and employed and out of prison. In Sacramento, Tish Pomadesi, KCRA 3 News.